Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Audrey Morris, and I will be doing a poem. Prejudice concealed the true history of my Africa. How dare you reject my tradition as worthless and teach me the words that eliminate black consciousness so my mind elevates the slavery that elongates white supremacy? mental divergence and you give me this education that is divided into sub-levels that should determine the consciousness of my intelligence what education that which slave and exploited from us since colonization blank sheets and empty classrooms so wait to riot black and proud girls from pretoria please lose the beauty of your african hair now the fees must fall is that education when libraries burned and students died for no other sake than decency. Is that your education? <laughs> when all a black kid is taught is fairy tales and princes, whilst his reality is but gradually involving poverty, robbery, and a senseless motivation of bravery that was long stolen by slavery. Is that education? But this education that is controlled and programmed to eliminate black consciousness with messages that dominate and fabricate fantasies about white supremacy so that our minds elongate the beliefs that books and classworks teach us how to survive and exist in a land where white, in a land where black is not a, in a land where free is not a black man, in a world where white is segregating a black man, but a hitch, but a rich, but a rich so but a history so rich is my motherly African land. For being black, I will rise my hand and it will never bend. Steve Biko, Chris Honey, Mandela, for their African pride so rich, I silently, I will always stand. And I tell you today, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Yeah.